right, so we are getting straight into it. Y'all see my braids freshly new, 15 of them. Shout out to my neighbor. I'm going to be listening to my For the Healthy Host podcast. I'll have that link down below because honestly, it's one of my favorite things at the moment. If y'all are into spirituality, healing, self-love, and just good conversation, good laughs, good cries... Check it out. I did not sleep. But yeah, I'm just taking my edge brush and I'm slicking back my edges that are out. I added some little aesthetics in the back so it's not so boring to look at <laughs> before I get my setup. So these are the wig caps I'm going to be using. I found those at my local beauty supply store. And if you guys can't find them in yours, you can definitely find them online. They're really good bald caps. They do not make your head itch like most, which is a real plus, okay? So I'm taking Skin First Take and a sip real alcohol to clean off my skin so that this bald cap can really stick down as well as our wig to protect our skin from any oils the glue all of that so now that it's on i stretched her on out and i'm taking my scissors and i'm going to cut around my ear so that this bald cap can lay down flat to melt down this cap i'm going to use my black ebon wonder lace spray and spray that right directly in front of my hairline and a little bit lower like i did in my last video because i like how that looks so yeah i'm not going to keep it right where my edges are but a little bit lower down so pay attention to how i'm mapping it out but yeah i'm just spraying that alongside and then spooling that out slightly with my finger dragging it down and getting it placed where i want it to be if you guys want a really flat install, do not skip that important step of having a flat base. Like I said in the beginning, I have 15 fresh braids. And when the braids are fresh and just flat, your install is going to look 10 times better, I promise you, especially with a metal part. You might get away with it with a side part, you know, the humpy, clumpy, bumpy wigs, but maybe a middle part, you got to have them braids flat or at least your hair flat as possible. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on that step. But yeah, now that the cap is dry down, I'll let that dry with the blow dry for about five minutes to really make sure it is dry down. And I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting off the extra cap that we no longer need. To keep my braids intact and from showing, I cut in the middle of my cap, tie that in a slight double knot and cut off the rest of that cap. And I noticed like <laughs> this bald cap is looking a little dark. It's because I have a medium cap or a brown cap, a medium brown cap. So using my RD15 by Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation definitely helps get that color back to my skin complexion instead of looking darker than it. This is what the wig is looking like. Plucking tutorial is coming soon. Okay, customizing, bleaching, all that is on the way. So this is what the hairline is looking like. I'm trying to measure and see like, okay, where am I going to put this wig at? I just like to lift it up and place it to kind of eyeball it and to see where am I going to put this glue in the wig. So after I did all of that, I'm taking my scissors and I'm going to cut around my ear tabs, which wasn't that difficult to do this time because this wig actually fit my head. So now that that is complete, I'm going in with my first layer of glue. The glue that I use will be in the description box down below. Unfortunately, it is sold out. So I'm going to try my best to find some glue for us, okay, because I need to find some glue as well that works really, really well in this Texas heat, okay? Like, if you know, you know. But yeah, I'm just taking my glue and I'm tapping that onto the cap and then slightly pushing it onto my skin and keeping it on the cap as well. So since my bod caps are lower now, I don't put the glue too much on my skin, especially with this install, because I feel like it was lower than even my last install that I did. If you didn't watch that video, go check it out. It was a side part buzz down. This isn't a part buzz down, but that was a side part buzz down. Anyways, I've been putting my bald cap lower and with this one, it was a little bit more lower. So I'm trying to focus the glue more so on the cap and a little bit on my skin, like half of an inch, maybe even less than that. I only did two layers today because this glue is pretty strong and I do not want this wig on for a long time. But if you want your wig on longer, definitely do about five to eight layers.
for your wigs to really look like self and that it's growing out of your skin please do not ever skip this step of putting the glue right in that place okay that is what's going to give the sideburns and just that part of the wig a seamless look so yeah i'm just spreading out this glue y'all just spreading her out spreading her out tapping it making sure she is nice tacky and sticky so now we're going to pull our wig to the front where the glue is making sure to really eyeball where exactly you're putting it you just want to make sure you have it right where that glue is stretch it out stretch it out so it can pull to where you want it to be even stretch your skin out a bit give it a snatched look or whatever <laughs> i don't even know if that works bro but pulling your skin apparently helps make your face give like a face lift with your wig i don't know but yeah once we have that other side laid down i'm going to press 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 like press it all the way through to really get this glue on to and seeping into this lace. So I'm gonna press some more and press some more. <laughs> and once that's done, I'm gonna take my band. I put my hair up so that that hair can be out the way and tie this really tightly, do it in a slight double knot. And while that melts for about 25 minutes, I have my hair parted off and I'm going to get to getting these sections really flat. So I'm taking my Care Care Wax Stick and my hot comb and I'm just going to press into the front of this hair very slowly so I can get that product melted through this hair. And I was flip-flopping in between uh, hot combs because this one is cuter. I'm not going to lie, but the other one gets harder. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm just sectioning my hair off. I already did the right side. And I'm just going to show you guys the left side today. And I'm just pressing through this hair section by section. Now, I know I usually say don't take the wax stick to every piece and strand that you're melting down and getting flat because it can start to look oily but you know what i went against the grain today and i did it because you know what this wig just wasn't really laying flat like it was this was a very humpy lumpy wig even though my braids were flat it kind of needed that extra oomph and it didn't look super greasy or oily so yeah once it was all said and done it was all good so we had to do what we had to do today so i'm taking my razor now that the cap not the cap but the band is off and i'm just shaving off this lace getting really close to the skin and to the lace and i'm shaving it in a downwards motion so we can have that natural zigzag effect and i'm getting every piece every piece girl every piece and even if you have to cut some hair off you got to do what you got to do because honestly you don't even need that much lace if you don't need it and my head is pretty small so i definitely didn't need it and before we get into the next side i'm going to take some more glue a thin layer spread her on out because this part was lifting and i'm going to let that dry down and once it's dried down i'm going to pat this lace into that glue and now moving on to the other side we are just repeating the same thing downward motion cutting off the extra lace as close to the skin as possible and as close to the lace as possible while I was doing this install, I was just in the mood to do something different. I don't know. <laughs> so I did a widow's peak, which this isn't my first time, but I don't do it often. So I'm mapping out where I want to take out the pieces. And this is very, very easy, y'all. Very, very easy. Okay. So I'm taking out some pieces in the front, really just eyeballing it, trying to see what would look best and envisioning a widow's peak as I'm doing this so that when it's done, it'll look like I had in my head. <laughs> pretty much so i'm taking out these pieces here i'm like okay is this going to be enough is this too much is this too little really just playing with it and seeing how many hairs i want to have out and that was pretty good to me so i'm just going to pull and snatch these hairs out that's all you have to do and i was looking at it like oh it's looking like a mcdonald's sign i don't know <laughs> i do not know so i took my tweezers and i'm just tweaking it a little bit the hairline as a whole so that it can look more cohesive with this widow's peak i just did and trust me it started looking better towards the end but i was like okay we just have to trust the process with this one so i'm plucking i'm plucking i'm plucking it looks like i'm being heavy-handed but i'm really not you don't have to be heavy-handed with tweezers because you know what you do not want to create a hole in your lace I'm taking my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the shade RD15 and I'm taking this eyeshadow brush that's pretty fluffy and yeah, I'm just smoothing that and buffing that into this lace a little bit on my skin as well before I go in with my second melt and this is what it's looking like. I pin my hair up before we do our second melt. Looking real scalp-like already. So I'm taking my Ebon Wonder Lace Spray in the newer version, the black like spritz 
and I'm tapping that onto my skin and onto the lace and I let that get tacky for about a minute or 30 seconds. And I'm gonna take my band once more, well, twice more, because I am gonna do this again. <laughs> but for the second melt, I'm gonna let that sit for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take my flat iron and my comb here and just press out the front of this hair. And I realize that this wig can have a lot more parting space. Like, girl, you're tripping. This can look a lot more natural. So I took these pieces from the back and made the part wider and longer, which definitely made this wig look a lot better than how it was. I'm taking my tweezers and please do not be heavy handed with them because tweezers are sharp as is and you would hate to create holes in your lace because they'd be pretty visible. But I'm just plucking it just a tad bit and then combing all those extra hairs out and y'all look at this lace like... I would do the no baby hairs look, which y'all be wanting me to, but honestly, I just, it's too grown for me. It's really too grown for me. Like I'm too immature for that. <laughs> I'm gonna insert a picture now of the baby hairs that we are going for because yeah, like I said, when I look at pictures as I'm doing my baby hairs and just my installs in general, they look a lot better because I have something to really go by and give me the inspired look that I want. So I'm looking at this picture literally as we speak and I'm pulling out the baby hairs in uh, regards to that and I took out more than I usually would for a middle part like towards the end of the lace and I'm just pressing out these hairs using the back side of the hot comb really does help get it flat and you want to literally move as slow as this like it looks like I'm going in slow motion but I'm just really going that slow I want to twist that up so it can be out of the way and start on my sideburns press that out as well so that they can look really flat once it's time to melt them down and do the baby hairs. But yeah, we're just gonna press them through, press them through. And y'all, this hot comb is really fucking cute. Like, if only it was super hot. I need to find another bedazzled hot comb, cause what? I'm repeating the same thing on the other side here on the left side, using my hot comb to press these hairs back on the actual hairline so that it can look put together. I'm taking my tweezers and I'm going to tweeze and pluck out these hairs on the sideburns for now and in the front right here. And I'm just kind of going in between spaces and plucking them, not too much. And then taking my Icy Fantasia Liquid Foam Holding Spritz. Everything will be linked down below. And yeah, we're gonna get in with the third melt with my band and leave that on for a cool like six minutes. When I do this, my baby hairs just look a lot more seamless and honestly, the lace looks more seamless as well. In my last video, I only did two melts, but I definitely usually do three and I'm gonna stick to doing three, like, come on now. Since this hairspray is like a liquid foam, it doesn't get super crunchy or flaky. So I just simply comb out all that hardness away all that like stiffness <laughs> and then I'm taking my scissors to shape out these baby hairs I left them a little bit longer than I usually would because I want them to look really curly and just I don't know fun and swooped up and loved up so I left them a little bit longer in front of my eyebrow since I do wig install so much I really like to switch it up with my baby hairs the placement of my wigs the thickness all that you know like it just keeps it fun keeps it light so I'm sectioning off my baby hairs in two parts and then curling them upwards with my kiss half inch pencil flow flat iron flow iron like girl what are you saying anyways doing the same thing on the other side i'm taking that same spritz and i really like using this spritz because if you want to leave your baby hairs looking fluffy and like combed out you know like the natural look you can definitely do that with this product and not have them looking crunchy or flaky you know or like you know like product built up like this is a really good product for that or even if you want a molded look like how i'm doing now because they just it just gives and it's so easy to use like it's literally just spray i'm still looking at those pictures as i do this and i'm blow drying my baby hairs into place so that they can just be molded down for about a minute just so that they can be dried down since this is a super wet product and i'm just tweaking it a little bit in the front then i'm going to move on to my sideburns using my finger here in the comb side of my edge brush to really get everything souped into place and i'm just repeating the same thing over and over again pretty much just swooping it swooping it until it's to my liking and once it is i'm going to blow dry that as well 
in this moment i had no clue no idea that my light was about to die and i could not pause this install so we're just going to keep it going i'm sorry for the lighting change it's not bad lighting it's just a little different so yeah we're moving on to the left side now taking the comb side and my finger just swooping 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 into the hair and i'm looking at the right side compared to the left side to make sure that they're kind of swooping in the same direction on the same accord because we don't want them to look like sisters we definitely want them to look like twins so we're going to blow dry that too until it is dry down a little bit and i'm feeling i'm like okay this is really really cute really really cute now for the other side burn the last one swooping that swooping that swooping that holding it into place getting it right and tight i'm going to blow dry that as well until she's dried down and now i'm going to take my ruby kisses cream foundation that same fluffy eyeshadow brush and because i bleached these knots on this colored hair the knots were like extremely red from like bleeding i guess i'm not sure but we don't like that look so we're just going to take some of that makeup and put that on the lace to hide all of that because yeah it's the little things that matter okay <laughs> last thing i'm going to take a skinny makeup brush and a lighter concealer and i'm going to take that and drag it across this part to make it look more defined and yeah give it that final touch you know give it that final oomph to make this install really look great. So look at these ends, they look really split. I'm gonna cut about three inches off. I highly recommend you guys do this with any of your straight wigs. It makes it look 10 times more luxurious. We have made it to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for continuously watching. If this is your first time here, if you liked what you've seen, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up, and check the description box for all the products that I use and information on this hair and on me. I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.